Hi, I'm Randy Mack, VTAC Warehouse Pro. Today we're at Lake Kachuma and uh, late summer. Lake's still pretty full for this time of year and we're gonna be uh, flipping tulies. Uh, this lake doesn't have a lot of grass in it. So all the deep cover these fish have to go when they go to the bank are tulies. You know, a lot of these tulies will run out there in five, six feet of water. So any of the fish that do pull up on the bank, that's where they're going to go is to these, these tule berms, these outside edge of the tules. And the way I've been fishing is um, just trying to cover as much water as I can. Not all these tules have fish in them, and they may not have fish in them all the time, the ones that I have been catching. I think a lot of these fish are suspended chasing bait, and then when they pull up out of that deeper water up towards the bank, this is the first place they go. So they're, I think they're up and down all the time. Um, so I'm just, I've got about four or five spots and I've just been, been rotating through them, going back and forth. And most of these fish are, they're basically eating it on the fall. If they're up there, they're up there to eat. So there's not much wasted time as far as yo-yoing it up and down. The water's relatively clear here at Kachuma. So when it hits the water, they're, they're going to see it. And it's, uh, you know, it's not close quarters flipping like most of the places with the water this clear you do want to make a little bit, a bit of a pitch and get it away from you so that the boat's not spooking them or you're not sitting right on top of the fish. Flipping the outside tulies. The bait I'm using is it's called a Lake Fork Flipper. Um, comes in all the standard, you know, colors: green pumpkin. Uh, watermelon red, all that. It uh, it's one of the creature creature bait, beaver type uh, flipping baits. Got the ribs, um, the two forked claws, and then the smaller claws over here on the side. And what makes this this bait a little better is, um, you know, when you when you flip it, it doesn't. These two paddles here, when it's falling, they they're not designed to to flap down. They've got little rudders on each wing, and what it does is as it falls, it'll spread the claws like a crawfish in, a, in an attack position as he hits the bottom. Those claws are already standing out instead of, of uh, in some weird position. So it looks real natural as it falls in the water. He's stuck in the tulies. Wait, miss. Nice. I'll get him. It's what happens on the deeper tulies when you pull up on the right stretch. Um, they'll pull up out of the channel, and they're up here for a reason is to feed. The way I like to rig the lake work flipper is for this tule fishing, you really don't have to get through a lot of cover, but you want to get a heavy enough weight to where once it gets in there, it does fall fairly fast because you, you really want a reaction strike out of it. Um, so I'm using a half ounce eco tungsten weight. On top of that, I'm putting a, a paycheck punch stop. Keep that uh, weight from sliding up the line. If that, if that weight gets too far up, what it does is this is going to turn half inches around the tulies and you're going to be frustrated all day. Um, at the end of the line I got a skinny bear um, flipping hook tied on and it's not the standard flipping straight shake flipping hook. It's an offset but the eye it's not pointed back towards the eye like a standard offset hook is. 
This is more like a flipping style hook. It's way above the offset, making it a lot easier to keep your bait secured up here. You can steel snail knot it, so you're going to flip this hook up into the roof of its mouth. And it helps with the, the hook point will lay back on the bait a little bit, not at an angle. And so in the toolies, anytime you catch a hook point with the, with the straight shank, you're constantly ripping your bait out of the toolies and it's just real frustrating. So this um, for toolies is, is the way to go. Uh, the Lake Fork Flipper um, with the little rudders, it comes, not uh, the, the claws are attached. So you want to separate these when you put it on. And then when those, those little rudders are going to push water and it's going to open them up more like a crawfish when he, when he goes down. Um, 17 pound uh, FHP uh, Lake Fork fluorocarbon. And the reason I went with fluorocarbon is the lake is pretty clear. And uh, I'm, I'm not fishing through a bunch of grass, it's just tule, so I, I think these fish are a little line shy. If I was fishing actual hyacinth or something, I would definitely be fishing braid. Um, but here, uh, I'm fishing fluorocarbon, 17 pound. You could go to 20, wouldn't go under 17 when you're fishing around toolies. Um, I'm fishing a Dobbins. It's an 804. This is actually a prototype rod. Um, he's going to call this rod uh, Carolina rig rod, but this doubles or triples at a, as a great light flipping rod. And I'm also throwing all my swim baits on this rod. So this, this is a very good all around big rod. There's a, there's a bunch of those seven, seven and a half foot all around rods. This is a great all around eight foot rod. And I've got a Revo STX, um, six, three to one uh, reel. It helps me pull in fish out of the cover. So remember, late summer, early fall, find yourself some uh, main lake structure or cover close to deep water. Um, grab yourself a flipping stick, late for a flipper. And uh, you know, timing is very key this time of year. So, you know, don't worry about not wanting to fish it more than twice. You know, hit it as many times as you can during the day. Again, I'm Randy McAfee. Everything's available at TAC Warehouse. See you out on the water. <laughs> he won't make the grade. Yeah.